Hello everyone, this is Azumari welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how to edit out a portrait. And uh, in a previous episode, I have given you a uh, action which is about uh, the um, retouching or uh, dodge burn. At first, I'm opening up this one, this image. I just uh, downloaded this stock image from the defender.com. I'll give you that download link and also the action which is for the dodge and burn and at first i want to just uh, edit this one for just straight the horizontal line and a little bit okay hit the ok button and then just i'll go to the action i'll give this action download link um, on my video description so don't forget to check it out and i'll play this one okay 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 and hit ok and hit Okay, I applied the touch burn for this image and after that I'll make okay I'm making it merge by pressing Ctrl Shift Alter E and just go into the filter and camera filter. From the camera filter I'll edit this one. I'm going to that first camera calibration and make like that. Okay, that's it. And the blue primary blue I've given that and now green I'll play with the green like that and now red okay saturation rate reduce okay after that I'll go there and down the exposure a little bit okay the highlight a little bit a little down and blacks also I'll leave the clarity and I'll go to the effects and I'm under effects a little bit Okay. Haze and dehaze, and I'm going to the sharpening option. Increase the sharpness and the luminance of noise reducer, contrast and color a little bit, and then hit the OK button. Okay, you are getting this image from the previous one. Okay, after that, I'll go to the adjustment layer and color lookup. And from the color lookup, I'll add the foggy color and reduce the opacity. Okay, that's good. And after that, I'll go to the curves. From the curves, I'll take just place over there and make it like that. Okay that's good but I need to adjust this one in the curves the color lookup just reduce the fill that's good and then I'll go to the level options from the level option I'll just make it like that nice and then I'm making it group making it match after that I'll go to the filter and collection color fix pro 4 from the Nicolation Color Fix Pro 4, I'll apply some effect over there. It's loading. Okay. Here, I'm using the cross processing options and lots of filters over there. You can use any of them. And from there, I'll use this one. nice and then I'll go to the adjustment layer again and color lookup from the color lookup I'll add the Fujifilm color a little bit and I'll give the opacity only 10% okay it will take extra feel for that okay, that's nice making it group making it merge after that another copy of this layer and then I'm making it the vivid light and going to the filter and other from the other I'll go to the high pass options and I'll give only 15 and Okay, 
when you're getting the age please uh, just stop adding values over there and hit okay okay i'll get okay making it group making it merge after making it merge filter and camera filter in this image you are getting some sort of noise over there that's why i'm using these techniques okay from here i'll go to the sharpen option and add some noise reduce the luminance okay and adding some amount of sharpness okay that's good and from the hsl option i'll reduce the luminance actually saturation of orange a little bit and increase the luminance of orange and decrease the red You'll get extra exposure over there. Okay, let's see what was the previous image. This one is our previous image. Now, after editing that one, you will be getting. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching my video tutorial. If you have any kind of question or query, please do comment on my video comment section, and I'll give all the actions over there. So don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And till the next video, I'm Mr. Signing out. And